Hi guys, it's Elisa at Moat Cottage. It is pear season here, so we are going to make a warm pear cider. Warm pear cider is a drink that we make in the slow cooker, like the mulled wine recipe I made in another video. For this recipe, I'm using 14 pears. They've been washed and they're going to have the skin left on, but I am going to core them. We add in two cinnamon sticks, two anisee, and seven cloves, as well as a tablespoon of vanilla essence. We then put boiling water two inches over the top of the pears. And because it's citrus season, I'm also adding in a pink grapefruit you could use an orange if you don't have a pink grapefruit. We add in half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of honey. And do you know, I always use raw, real honey. The slow cooker's on low and we'll check in in 12 hours. This is where I give it a taste test, just so I can see if I need to add any more honey or sugar, because all the pears can be different. Some are sweeter, some are not so much. And also because I put a grapefruit in it, it could be a little bit more sour. So I'm going to give this a little taste test. That's nice. I'm going to add half a cup of honey to that. And as per normal, I don't measure and half a cup of brown sugar. All right, we're gonna let this cool down for a little bit so it's easier to manage and we won't burn ourselves. I've got a saucepan ready. It's large enough to have all the juice in it. I've got a colander and a strainer. I, the, the reason I have the colander is because it balances on the saucepan. And then on top, I have three layers of the cheesecloth, which is lint-free cheesecloth. This is ready for us to strain the pear cider into. So all the lumps, the, the peel, the spices and skins can get left in the top part and then we'll be left with some nice cider juice ready to drink. Once the strain is full of pulp, we give it a chance to drain through so we get all the good juice down the bottom. And once it's stopped draining, we can pick it up and get that last bit out by squeezing it. And anything left in here will go to the ducks and chickens. And we just continue doing that until we've got it all done. And then it's ready to put into clean jars or bottles and then into the refrigerator for storage and then heat it up when you're ready to drink it or drink it straight away. This recipe made just over a gallon of the pear cider. You can drink it warm or you can put it in the fridge and drink it chilled. This is warm and I'm going to do the taste test. Smells good. That's really nice. Nice for a winter's day. If you don't like grapefruit, remember to switch it up for an orange. You can also make this recipe with apples instead of pears. What's your favorite winter drink? I'd love to hear in the comments below what everybody likes to drink in the cold of the winter. I know it's summer for some of you at the moment, but just remember back to when it was cold. Thanks for watching. See you next time.